Kim on here because I really wanted to do a first impression slash review and demo on the new Estee Lauder the Estee Edit line and I only received four of these products in my influencer box so I really wanted to come on here and review it for you guys since it is new and maybe some of you guys wanted to see how these products work. The first thing that came to mind when I first saw these products was nothing but glowing products and a box for the summer and I'm all about that glow. If you guys are interested in these products and just seeing how they work, hearing my first impressions on them, then just keep on watching. The first product that I'll be using is the Pore Vanishing Stick, and this is just how it looks. I think the packaging is really nice. It's very different to the typical Estee Lauder, and I love the hint of blue. So when I open it, this is how it looks. It's just a white stick with a little bit of a skin tone in the center, and I'm going to be applying this to any of the areas where I have pores. So on this area, on my forehead, on my nose, and also like on my chin. I'm just going to apply from the stick to my face. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice already. Feels really nice and smooth. I'm going to blend it with my fingers. So this product helps blur out any pores and it also minimizes shine and oil so I'm going to see how it looks throughout the day. Um, I can see how different my nose looks from the instant that I applied it. It does blur out pores so I think that is so awesome and the good thing is that I don't really have large pores but I can see how it instantly blurs it out and just makes it look like my skin is super flawless. Oh my gosh I really like this. I do like the pore vanishing stick. And the next thing that I'm going to be using is this Beam Team Hydrate and Glow. And it's supposed to hydrate and illuminate the face. You can apply this by itself or you can also mix it in with your foundation. I am going to apply this by itself and then I'm going to apply my foundation right on top. This product is awesome just because it is a two-in-one. And at the bottom of the cap, it comes with like an illuminator. So you can use this to highlight and give you an extra boost of glow. So I'm just going to use this first and take off the little thing right here. And it does have like a tint to it. It looks really illuminating. And it is kind of thick. I'm gonna apply it to my face. Oh, it looks really nice. So this is going to be like a nice base for my foundation to make my skin look luminous. So far, I like it. it makes my skin look very glowing and nice and healthy. I'm going to be using the other side of this product and it is kind of very bronzy so I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones just to see how it looks at first. I feel like it's too bronzy for my cheekbones. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see that. It does apply kind of bronzy but once it's on the skin nice and blended it doesn't look as dark. You can also mix this in with your lotion and apply it all over your body if you want to be glowing that day. Since both of these serve as a primer, I'm going to be skipping out on my Scandinavia spray and just see how this works through the day. Right now, it's kind of like settling into my skin and I really like it. It makes my skin look so nice and glowing and healthy. And if it looks this good right now, once I apply my foundation, it's going to look even better. Something I'm very excited to use on here is this Flash Illuminator. It is a cream highlighter and exactly how it looks, this is the color. And it's a very pearly white, which is perfect for my skin tone. They do have, I think, five other skin tone colors, so it'll suit everybody. And I seriously can't wait to apply this. I am going to be applying some to my spatula, very little bit. And with my Wet n Wild foundation brush, I'm going to take some and just apply it to the high points of my face. So my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, a little bit on my forehead right here, and also on my cupid's bow. I want those areas to stand out the most. It's really refreshing too. It just makes my skin look so much better. Look at how glowing that is. Then with my damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna run it. 
So for foundation, I am going with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And I am in the shade 02 Natural. I'm going to take one and a half pumps. And if you guys haven't seen my review on this video, you should definitely check it out. I have it linked down below. And I think this foundation is going to be perfect because it has a satin matte finish to it. So it'll still show that glow. And I'm going to buff this in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. I seriously love this foundation so much. I'm going to take it all over my eyes too. I usually don't, but I am today since I'm doing something very natural. As you guys can see, my skin looks so nice and dewy, healthy and glowing. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. This stuff is so good. And I'm going to run my Damp Beauty Blender right on top, just to pick up any excess product. I seriously love it. I love the way the foundation looks on top of the products. It looks very glowing. My face doesn't feel heavy or anything. It feels really lightweight. And I just love how glowing it looks. Like the camera isn't even doing justice to how beautiful it looks in person. This is crazy. Why wasn't I using this before? To hide my under eye circles, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and this is in the shade Light 18. And I'm also going to apply this to my chin, my nose, and my, a little bit on my forehead. And I'm going to work it in with my Damped Beauty Blender. I'll also take this over my eyelids to prepare for eyeshadow. Taking my RCMA translucent powder, I'm going to be baking this in. I don't want to completely take this all over my face just because I don't want it to take away from that beautiful shine. But if I don't bake in my concealer, it will crease up and it'll it's, it's a mess. So I'm going to let this sit in for a good five minutes and then I'm going to dust it off. I am going to be dusting it off with this e.l.f. small tapered brush. For my eyes, I want to keep it very simple. So I'm going to be using this new shadow from ColourPop and it's in the shade Weenie. I think it's so pretty and it's going to be my first time using it. So I'm very excited and this is kind of very like bronzy but the copper undertone. And I'm going to be applying this with my BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush from their 14 piece chic palette. Palette. Brush set. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't have anything like this. It's so pretty. Let's apply better with the finger. Taking a little bit of my Hoola bronzer on this number seven brush from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to be sweeping this on my crease and just blending it out just to give me a little bit of dimension and prevent it from looking like there's a harsh line. I didn't really want to add this, but I think it'll look nicer and smoother. Since I'm focusing more on the skin, I wanted to keep it very light on the eyes, but still wanted to do something different. So I'm probably just going to do mascara. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm going to apply a coat or two of this Smashbox X-rated mascara. Taking the flash illuminator, I'm going to be applying some to the inner corners of my eyes and also on my brow bone. Meanwhile, I let the eyelashes dry. I'm going to bronze with the Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to be using my Slanted BH Cosmetics Express and this is number one.
For blush slash bronzer, I'm going to be using my Anastasia That Glow Kit. And I'm going to take Golden Bronze. And I really like to use this to bronze my face. It looks so pretty and really glowing. Instead of blush. Do you guys see how beautiful that looks? And I am applying this with a number three brush. But since I'm a little extra, I do want to go in with a little bit more of this flash illuminator right on top of my cheekbones to give me a super highlighted effect. And I'm going to be applying this with a damp beauty blender. Just apply this right here. And even then, it still looks so gorgeous by itself it doesn't look patchy it looks super nice and natural on the skin and over top i'm going to apply my anastasia glow kit and i'm going to be taking bubbly and sunburst with my sl miss glam brush Going back with the number three brush, I'm just going to blend this out. I'm also going to be using their lipstick, and this is in the shade the Barest Lip Color 05 in the Buff. And I did swatch this on my hand, and it's a really nice brown color, but it's very sheer. So first I'm going to apply my lip liner and this is the Bloom Lip Liner in the shade Outline which I've been loving to use recently with all my lipsticks to outline my lips. It is a little sheer but it does add color still. It's really nice and moisturizing and it smells really good. Right on top, I'm going to apply my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in the shade Rule Breaker, which is just going to give me a little bit more of a shine lip gloss finish. To set this makeup look in place, I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray and this is in the tea slash ginger scent. And overall, I loved all the products, so thanks to Influencer for sending these products to me. Out of all the four products, I honestly have to say that the Flash Illuminator is hands down my favorite because the other products, I feel like you can just find them anywhere. And then the second best for me was definitely this Pore Vanisher. First, I quickly want to talk about this one. This one is just so beautiful especially if you're into highlighting like I am but if you guys are into highlighting and just love that intense glow I would definitely highly recommend this one now I know you don't have to go out and spend all this money to get highlighting products or anything like that but I really wanted to come on here and you know review these products and if any of you were interested I would highly highly recommend the flesh illuminator if you're into highlighting it's gorgeous it looks super natural on the skin and you can definitely blend this into your foundation and I can only imagine how gorgeous it will look it's very lightweight it looks very natural on the skin and seriously like my highlight has never looked this good so you guys will most likely be seeing a lot of this one and this next thing that I really really did love from the line was the pore vanishing stick which is to hide and make the pores more invisible and I honestly feel like that little tint helps it so much to blur out and kind of make it appear like it's your own skin tone and it literally just looks like a filter on your skin, so I really loved it. The other products I really did like, it's just not something I can see myself using all the time, but I'm pretty sure that did play a huge role in the way that my foundation looks. My skin doesn't look 
glossy and it doesn't feel heavy at all. So Estee Lauder did good on this line because I truly do love all four products. This one. This is, I know, something that I'm going to be using on a daily basis to achieve that beautiful glow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and if you did, don't forget to give that thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos so you guys don't miss any of them and that is pretty much it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!